YouTube. We're live on the YouTube, are we? Hello, YouTube. We're live on the YouTube. Oh, you know, it's another Tuesday, another great day to give thanks. I actually was having a miserable, I want to say a week, although the week started on yesterday. Monday. Yeah. But then I got a little present from a friend today. Mm -hmm. Made you feel better? It did, it did. Love that and I was very at you. Uh huh. The same she gave you the little present too. Oh, very nice. She this gave me a Juvia's Place make eye makeup palette. And I was so it's thankful. It's a very good brand. It's a very good brand. And I was so thankful because I keep talking about this brand, but it doesn't sell anywhere in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. It does. Easy makeup bar. Oh. Hello everybody, hello, hello, welcome. This is Tuesday at 1.30. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take your mind off of what's going on outside the closet and bring you in here for almost nip slips, fun frolic and foolishness. <laughs> oh sorry, fun frolic and foolishness. All right. All right. Hi guys. So today we are wearing some garments, beautifully made garments. Is that not what you have? Not, I don't know. I've heard that word in a while. Garments. I feel like I'm biblical. Oh, yeah, like outfit. You know, fit, fit. Okay. Oh, oh, fit, 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 fit. Okay, fit, okay, fit, 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 fit. So today we are wearing some fits by Havali, and Havali is a store located in Kingston, Jamaica. They sell 100% silk, 100% cotton. And 100% is it silk cotton and what is it linen? I think she has linen there, but it's like natural materials. Yes, and it's naturally dyed. It's all um, the quality of the clothes is absolutely amazing. So I'm wearing a fuchsia. Um, I'd like to say this style is like a slip dress. Yes. So this is a silk slip dress. It is so soft. It is super, super, super. I know soft. it's really nice. Oh. It's really nice. It's really nice. It's really so nice. I had it on, and you know, I you can. See Sean saw me, he's like, well, we're we going to dinner later. Oh, Because I, I have on some little heels to have styled it, you know, I have on my little pink. So I have jewelry. on their loungewear, so they have loungewear there too. So this is their silk loungewear and it has a little bra. Mm. You know, the heat pads. Nice. So, so you're feeling, you know, you can be sexy on your vacay or just at home, regular, 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 you know. Um, but all the, they use all natural dyes. And um, they do have menswear there as well. They also sell perfumes there. Some, so there's a green jumpsuit that you got there a long time ago. Oh my gosh. And that's still one of my favorite pieces to see you in it. It like definitely represents you as a person in terms of the color, the fit, the playfulness. You've dressed it up, you've dressed it down. So. I've worn that green jumpsuit so many times. I've worn it on this show at least three times I've worn it on here. At least minimum three times I've worn it on the show. And I have to say, every time I wear the jumpsuit by uh, that I got at Havali, every mm. single time I get compliments, you get a compliment. on it. It's every it's single. So you guys time can I wear check it. them out. I pin their comment down below, and over on YouTube, you can see in the description box. I will put all the information where you can check out Havali and see their beautiful pieces. And it's like when you go to the store, it's like a kind of it's like a, a vibe. Trance. Yeah, it's a yeah. whole vibe. So you can check them out for sure. As you can see, I'm rocking my right. outfits. I'm heading for dinner and more. Apparently, I know. Right? <laughs> That at 11 Devon Road, which is a road right across from Terra Nova. It's a little, it's a little, what would it, what do you say, like a slip road? Is that a slip road? It's not a main road, but it's like you take it to go onto, anyway, it's a road it's right a road. across from <laughs> Terra Nova. Yeah, a really cute location. Lots of great stuff in there for you to buy. Oh, and I wore that maternity, well, it's not a, it's not a maternity dress. I wore that dress that they have there. Mm -hmm. For the whole entire time I was pregnant and the whole entire time that after I was pregnant I worked so much that I had to like just dash it with after because it was just done 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 done, done, done. I, I must have worn it every single it was so comfortable though they had caftans and one of the caftans, style caftans was yeah. called the Nandi and I bought a Nandi for Nandi yes oh, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 really yeah. nice so it was very nice um 100% cotton and it was just so easy I think I bought a couple of those during summertime and let me mine tell you, mine was a silk one that I bought. No, mine, I had cotton ones. And let me tell you, them did save me and I did hot, hot Jamaican summer. So you can check them out, guys. They are pinned down below. So, um, Tricky, who does your brows? Don't, why are you talking about Tricky's brows? Them don't look good. What? You don't think my brows are good? My, I do my brows myself. Thank you so much. I think my brows are great. 11 Devon Road near Coconut Industry Board. Yes, yes, yes. I don't find your brows look good. What's wrong with my brows? No, let me start. No, start. Go ahead. They're uneven. They're too high. Well, they're, where they're, where are they uneven 
know. This one is up a little bit higher, right? Then you have a dig out right here and here, and the point, this right here is thicker. I never liked your brows. I mean, they suit your face, you know, because you're kind of unevenish in your face, too. <laughs> I joke, I joke. I don't like your brows. Where are they uneven? You've never said this to me before, like ever. And the only time you want to say this to me is on camera. I think they look very even. They look even to me. This one is my favorite. Actually, I like the height of that one. That one is my favorite. What do you mean the height? They, like, I, I struggle with keeping them because I naturally have very high eyebrows. So I have to take a lot of, off of the top. So it's mm -hmm. hard for me. So I thought that they were the same height. I like that one. That's a good one over there. You just said you like this one. And I changed my mind because I can change my mind. It depends on what side I look at you at. But I enjoy like, you know, I enjoy that there are two different brows because then it's like I can, you know, I can't see a different girl. I can't, there you go. Hey. I oh. can't, my eyebrows are just naturally so high. They're so, so, so high. Like, I mean, I can't drop them. No, you can't and drop them. Lower. This is just like how they stay. What? <laughs> Lulu says, never take from the top of the brows. No, you don't understand. Like, my brows I definitely are, take from yeah. the top of my brows. I have we to We have take. high brows. Yeah, and then I have to take from the You look good, Trey. Thank you. Jody, drop on her mouth, you know. <laughs> you look scared? I don't think she looks scared. I think she just has a lot of space for makeup that she doesn't utilize. You could put more makeup. I don't wear that much makeup. I don't think you could drop your brows any, though. I can't drop my brows. Even when I go to get my Botox done, the doctors are like, let me put some to drop your brows. And I'm like, I just have yeah, high brows. I, there's one of mine that's way higher than the other and I have to drop one of mine. You look good, girl. You look good. Hmm. Um, Bigger forehead from, from the top of the brows. Thank you. Yeah, but the top, the, 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 the brow, the forehead, we can't do nothing about the forehead. The forehead, the forehead cannot be done nothing about. Anyway, guys, we're moving on from Tracy's um, forehead. But brows. You look good, girl. Thank Let you. us talk about what happened with South Avenue Grill. So funny. It's so, I, I, I think it's funny. I'm hoping that the young lady, you know, um, Vibes Pro brought up a really good point that I didn't think about before when, you know, he was saying, you know, I hope she has a good sense of humor, I hope she has good friends around her, she doesn't like, you know, bury herself in a hole and get too depressed because you have the whole of Jamaica laughing at you, you know what I mean, calling you a liar, which essentially she is. You are, though. Um... You know, she just went to the, just the far ends to try and prove some kind but of you point know to get like, this attention. I, I hear Vibes promo, I, and I hear Vibes promo in saying that, like, they, they hope that she has good friends. But, like, if you are going to go so far mm -hmm. as to tell this huge lie on somebody's business, like, you guys don't understand, this business feeds so many people, not just the owner and his wife and his children, like it feeds so many people, it feeds all of the employees, which how many, they said they had a 13, 13 were going home in the bus, in the bus, that I don't know if that they includes the chef, they worked throughout COVID, they worked throughout the COVID, I don't know if that includes the, the chef, COVID. the janitor and all of these things, so like, I, oh, excuse me, hold on, Um, I just feel like, and I'm glad that they said something, because I find sometimes you'll have businesses or a person say, Oh, I can't bother to say anything. I'm just going to let it ride out. I'm just going to let it pass. Chani K, hi. Um, and I'm glad that they said something. And I think that it was a... They brought the receipts. I don't think it was being mean to the girl. Um, I don't think it was unwarranted. I think they just kind of addressed everything that she said. And she... Um, what happened, please? Okay, so Shauna, for those of you who don't know... I just wanted to show off my fit again since I was standing up. Because I really just love it. It's so like... So if you're ready for bed, but your friends come over, you can drag on the, the put on, sorry, this um this short duster right here. It's very cute and it's very comfy to sleep in. And you know what? If you go to bed and you realize you haven't wrapped your hair, you can just put this on wrap up your hair because it's silk. I just very think good it's so face. cute. I just think this fit is they so cute. They were defending cute. themselves. So a young lady, it was her birthday, she took her, or her date took her to South Avenue Grill. South Avenue Grill has been around for years. Um, it's in the same location, you get big portions. Huge! You get good food. It's pretty consistent. Um, and very, like, the, for lunch, it's always ram. Their anyway, soup is good too. The young lady goes for her birthday dinner with her date, and she makes a video. And in the video, she sounds like a newscaster. And she was basically saying how... She wasn't seated on time. Um, the wait waitress kept passing her, wouldn't give her her drinks. They're nearly dead for food. And um, she wouldn't wish this kind of food on her, the dogs of her worst enemies. Mm -hmm. How they ran her out of the place. She was trying to take pictures. Anyway, 
South Avenue Bar and Grill created an Insta uh, TikTok account and rebuttaled every single point that she brought up. They rebuttaled it with receipts and timestamps from the restaurant showing when she came in, when she was seated. They showed um, when she was taking her food, used her videos of the food that she took and the food looked good. She had steamed fish and there was another, there was another one. And then uh, past closing time of her um, being accommodated by her waitress to take pictures of her 44 mm -hmm. minutes past closing time meanwhile she's saying she was run out of the property it's four different photo scenes she, she had and so the restaurant was like no not this time and you know what i really like it was that the restaurant really seemed to protect their workers yeah 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 they you were know? like our workers work so, so hard. hard especially during covid day we made sure they kept their jobs and you know they were really accommodating with taking photos of this young lady so for her to say this and my the fault i had with all of this was she read this in a very nice newscaster voice and i'm like is that her profession how many more stories has she brought to us that are total and complete bullshit yeah so big up yeah. to south avenue grill um, and i know and big up to, yeah big up to south avenue grill for and you know a lot of people she had a doggy bag she brought home a doggy bag saying that it was terrible food and you know what like i'm so glad that south avenue grill came to their own defense because a lot of times people think oh just sit back and don't say anything and it will go away or whatever but south avenue grill is like ah, nah, ah, 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 ah. and i do feel that businesses need to stand up for themselves when customers come and talk crap about their business yeah. because you know, the customer is not always right. Simple. It's not always right. And it's not and always... I hate that saying too. And it's not nice for you as a customer to always... Your first response is to go to social media. Like if you have a problem, then maybe you should go directly to the to, directly to the, the place or the store or whatever. And be like, hey, I'm having, having a problem. problem. Like, and then you can talk to whoever it is, the manager. If if that you're not getting any resolve from there... She was strong then and you wrong. Can, then you can go ahead. But like if I've done, say, some, <laughs> like say somebody doesn't like uh, something that I've done with their hairstyle or their mm -hmm. haircut. Instead of going and blasting me on social media, I would prefer if they said, hey, hey Trey, I just this? like this, could you fix yeah. this anything for me? Because then you, you're giving me the opportunity to, to say, right or wrong, okay. and to also build upon that relationship. Yeah. If it's everything that you don't like, you complain about on social media, what is eventually going to happen? I mean, there must be some kind of relationships that you kind of want to, you know, keep their traces. A good hairdresser, okay, she fucked up my hair this time, but, you know, last time it was really good. Let me talk to her and be like, you know, Trey, it's a little red. How come you think yeah. this happened, you know? Can we do something about it? And then guess what? If Tracy says, girl, come out and make sure, and you're like, really? And then exactly. you start with your blast. Exactly. You know, but I think um, somebody was saying that she wants to be popular and go over pink wall. Will she go over there now? Um, but... Um, please don't uh, people don't think about implications for small businesses in particular that's so correct i'm, I'm not liking strictly cookies i'm not liking that um th this whole trend with the the, the 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 influencers doing these restaurant reviews because you have to also remember too you know places businesses restaurants they'll have their good days and they'll have their bad days no there are restaurants that are having just bad days like i'm looking at some of the reviews and i'm like i will never go there but then also I feel like for such a small island, you know, Trace and I always preach about, you know, let's support one another. I feel like the constant bad reviews. I will never go to the, the way you call it, the buffet, not the buffet place, the, the, the brunch place. You know, it's like I'm not going to take my hard earned money and go over there when it's constant. But I don't know. It's kind of like a... And it, ooh, taking a break from the bad reviews. Let's go to some... Excellent, excellent reviews. reviews. Messing with people, bread and butter. If they did don't have evidence, the lady could have lost her job. That's true. This is OTET Apple. This is definitely OTET Apple. And this is carrot juice. So again, we have some lunch today from Camilla's Kitchen. Thank you, apologetic D. Not many business owners defend their employees. And I just love how the owner of South Avenue Bar and Grill dealt with it. It's true. When I saw, you know, and the, um, when she showed that they have a courtesy bus, leaving in the evening, their um, their employees go on a courtesy bus and take them. Yo, I for that alone, I'm going to go to South Avenue Bar and Grill. So, Camilla's Kitchen has <gasps> sent us. Is that the cauliflower? Oh, yeah. man. They've sent us their Papa Bowl for lunch today from Camilla's Kitchen. So this is their power bowl, so you get some cauliflower that's crusted in joy and happiness. Um, oh plantain, 
chickpeas and quinoa. Quinoa. Mm. Oh my gosh. So Camilla's Kitchen is located at one Skyline Drive. Sorry, Seven Skyline Drive. Uh, is, it, is it Seven Skyline Drive? Follow the, follow the, um, the aroma. Yeah, Seven oh my gosh. It's um, Six Skyline Drive, sorry. And they um, are open from Mondays to Saturdays. They're open for, seat, for seated dining now. And it is vegan food. Amazing. Uh, amazing, amazing stuff. Their juices, this is a carrot juice that she has given to us today. Oh Jody God. has an OTET apple mm. juice and like let me tell you something like oh you don't, you don't even understand this food it's like it's hard to explain because as someone who is not a vegan put your, put your thing down and I may not me. definitely I may not I don't go out of my way to eat vegan food mm -hmm. it's hard to explain to you like the flavor explosion mm -hmm. that is happening in my mouth right now Mm hmm you know you know I really enjoy um, eating healthy and it may really makes my body mm -hmm. feel a lot better it looks like the Uetta lunch boxes that the rich Cali girls been eating on TikTok mm. well go spoil yourself with one of these because I don't know about what rich Cali girls be eating but this is affordable and, and it is so definitely good. something that makes you feel good afterwards you know, seasoned like to perfection. I've been waiting all week for this Tuesday to come just so we could have another lunch by Camilla's Kitchen. Auntie. She also is having um mm. on Friday. They, so this Friday, like she has live performances mm -hmm. on Fridays. So, so there's we, a stage set up in a restaurant, mm -hmm. so you can get something to eat, and then after you can get entertained. Mm -hmm. Who's she having this Friday? Yaksta. Yaksta, yes. So they'll um and then she has she has different performers, but this Friday is Yaksta. Mm -hmm. And then what time are we starting? Mm. 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. 7 p.m. Guys, I I can't explain this to you. No, it's so good. I haven't even moved off the quinoa because she put like some kind of gravy on top of it today. Sauce? I don't know what it is, but it's so good. Trust me. Just spoil yourself and go once to Camilla's Kitchen. It's and really then... just like a seven minute drive from Papini. It's mm -hmm. not that far. No. Not far at all. Hi, Davina. Worth it. Mm. Hi, Davina. Definitely 100% worth it. So good. So good. What was it that you wanted to ask today? Oh. Mm. My thing that I wanted to ask everybody was what's your favorite meal when you come home like you come home and it's like okay one that i don't have to cook that's my favorite meal mm -hmm. what do you never cook you never cook that's my favorite meal you know what like you know sometimes you come home and you know like today's curry chicken tuesdays or you know stupid wednesdays or like what's your favorite at home meal or dinner to go to or shepherd's pie like what is your favorite I wonder what other people eat for dinner at their homes. I, I, want, I want to live with Camilla. I know me too. Imagine if we live with Camilla. Jeez. Um, the black pick your favorite. Mm. That would be so wicked. Because, I mean, last week all I could think about was that kale salad. But then I saw these cauliflower things and I was like, oh my god, I remember those. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. Curry chicken with rice and peas. No pigtail is talking about stew peas. Curry chicken with rice and peas? Wow, that's weird. Who eats curry no, chicken with rice and peas? Good man. It's a whole vibe. Oh my gosh. Rice and peas. Curry chicken is white rice. Cow foot? Ooh. What kind of cow foot? I love a cow foot soup. It's very good for your knees. I gotta take cow foot. Sean cuts me all the time. Yeah, the ladies make cow foot soup again. I gotta give it a cow foot soup. I, I love cow foot soup. I can't do it. It's too jelly, jelly, jelly. I don't like. I don't like oxtail. I don't like cow foot. I don't like those kind of things. Too jelly, jelly. That's what I like though. The jelly, jelly help build up the cartilage. Try fried bean. No, I'm not with you on that. As a favorite. Mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Tripe? 
I don't know how you even do that. Mm -mm. Mm. No, I know we're on a healthy vibe, but you know, I gotta wash down with some Lady B. I'm drinking a uh, Paradise Spawn. Mm hmm. I'm so much knowing my lady. Bee. I think this is Paradise Phone. Me too. So, did you guys know that Chris Brown has three children? I thought it was only one. I thought it was two. He has three children. Three. Collagen and Nicole Foot, you see? What? What's the third one? A big, I, I think a big girl. I saw, I saw him in a picture that I was hugging them up. Mm hmm. I was like, wow, it's three? I only know about two kids. Mm hmm. When is Rihanna due? Do you think she's going to be jumping in Carnival Barbados? Probably not. She knows she's going to get too much slack for it. Slack like what? People, oh, um, you're going to hurt the baby. That's not safe. Careless baby mother. Oh, if it was dance hall, blah, 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 blah. So I think just to avoid that whole conversation, and especially to avoid the Americans who don't understand our culture and the whole soak a bit and whatever whatever i think for her to just not have to deal with those comments she's not gonna jump mm. well she took some pictures the other days from she i guess she had a baby shower in new york brooklyn mm -hmm. she was dressed in red she was hugging up asap rocky mm -hmm. she's cute you know she's i know he's pretty young she's pretty she's ready to pop she should be due soon mm-hmm I think she's due around the same time as Steve. What time? When is she due? May 1st, no? I don't know. I don't know, yeah. Mm. But I... I can't put this down. I know. This is so good. I saw I felt last week about the salad and I just finished it. No, I was trying to save a little bit for my dinner. I can't do that. So which really? celebrity are you guys just tired of seeing on your timeline? Tired of seeing, tired of hearing of, like, I just don't want to have to do, don't want to have to see this celebrity again. Is there any celebrity you guys are tired of seeing and hearing? Um. Hmm. Like, I'd maybe want to say the Kardashians, just because I kind of, I'm sick of, like, everybody now looking like them. Mm. I'm waiting for, like, the new family or the new it girls, because... Everybody kind of morphed into a Kim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? So, it's not that I may be sick of seeing Kim herself, but then Kim has all her little minions and everybody who wants to look like her. So I'm sick of that look. Yeah. Well, it's funny because they were talking about a celebrity the other day, and I thought it was Kendall Jenner, and it wasn't Kendall, but everybody just looks like that mm. nowadays, you mm -hmm. know? And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I can't even, I can't even keep up. Because it's like nobody looks Lori like Harvey. No way, I love seeing Lori Harvey. You do? Sophia Richie is a new it girl. She just got married. Yeah, Sophia's cool. Sophia she Richie. She doesn't pop up on my timeline. I don't even know who that is. That's Lionel Richie's youngest daughter, Nicole's um, youngest sister. Oh, yeah? She just got married, yeah. She has nice features. She has, you can see like that she has black in her. She has nice, bold lips. Mm hmm. Um, to be honest with you, I really just saw her wedding photos just yesterday because I follow Pretty Little Thing mm -hmm. and that's why it popped up on my page. Oh. I don't know. I have to check her out. Chloe Bailey. Apparently, the old money luxury aesthetic is back. Great. Mm. I no can... one says she's tired of seeing Chloe Bailey. Mm. You know what? She... No. I, I kind of don't really love how Chloe Bailey looks though. She's not, she's not like my type of look. If it's the same person I'm thinking of, the Little Mermaid girl. Yeah, yeah. What do you like about her? I don't know. Like you are so programmed into thinking that one aesthetic is the look. That's why. No, because I like that. No, because I tell you what I don't like about Chloe Bailey. I don't like about. I don't like Chloe Bailey because. I don't think I like her style. Oh, how she dresses. It's yeah. very haphazard. I don't like her style. Mm -hmm. I don't like her style. That's what it is. That oh, I that's like. her sister, Little Mermaid. Yeah, you're right. Because sometimes you have like, um, she has dreads, 
Yeah. And she looks very rootsy and she looks very natural and breezy. And then she turns around and she has on like this sexy ass dress. Like I feel like I can't decide whether I like her or not mm, because she's okay. not consistent with her look. With her look. Okay, okay. I hear you on that. Chloe is a sister. Wrong sister, Tracy. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. But it's one of them. Yeah. Mm. And maybe it's because it's two different people that I'm not realizing that they have um two different styles so you're thinking you see one and it's really the other one maybe maybe but i can tell you like something about them just like really mm. mm -hmm. haters i don't <laughs> think we're hating on them um both of them do that i what she was saying with their style hopping all over the place um i don't think that's hating um the thick one is chloe I can't, is it Little Mermaid out? I can't wait to see that movie. I know, I'm so excited for it though. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for it. So which one of them has dreadlocks? Or both of them have dreadlocks? Boy, I didn't even know there were two. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know there were two. So I'm just, I'm just over here like getting lessons from you all right now. Rory really likes them. He's giving kisses, he's sucking his teeth after us. He really likes That's the okay. Dana sisters. <laughs> that was okay. Okay. Yeah. Come you know what? Me, you know what? Gel, Gel Phoenix says they're just trying to find themselves and their niche. Yeah. You know, I agree with you. Oh my gosh, Gel. And since we're talking about trying to find yourselves and your niche, like, let's talk about Sam Smith because, I mean, like, I just feel like something's happening to him right in front of our very eyes. Like, you know, he's definitely going through like a whole entire different transformation right in front of our eyes in front of the camera and like sometimes i feel like it's just too much like sam smith your voice is so amazing like he has such great talent and i really really love him i love his music i i think sam smith's music is absolutely fabulous do you think that his um his aesthetics are going so far beyond his voice yeah that's what I'm saying like you don't need to be going that hard to get attention like there's some people who don't have such a great voice that need to be going hard with like oh on the red carpet video wearing and, mm -hmm. crazy things and doing like weird videos to get the attention but oh Sa sorry sorry Sam's pronouns are they them oh my gosh I can't I'm sorry Crystal Beckford like I can't like I can't like you know what is that? They, them, I, that is so, so crazy. Try, try. Instead of saying he or she, you say them. It's not they. proper English. It's, it's not proper English. Well, you're just coming out today. But it's not proper English. Like, why don't we actually just try and... Please mm. report, repeat where the food is from. It's from Camilla's kitchen. Camilla's kitchen. It's Camilla here. Let me pin her. It's so good. It's vegan. Um, today, there's a chick... chick Chickpea salad, there's a little um, cabbage slaw here. We have quinoa, there's some goodness sauce on top, there's a little lettuce under there, and the um, the cauliflower is like a battered, I don't even know what it is. Love and happiness. Love and happiness on the outside, it's so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Tricky and Jinx pronouns are uno. Exactly, okay. uno. I like that, mm -hmm. pronoun, that's been, I mean, like, people haven't even mastered the English vocabulary and then they want to change it up and start using different pronouns all over the place. Like, I don't know. It's just really, it's just really, it's really crazy to me. Just think we need to master one thing before we Referring start. Referring to one person as they. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. not even proper yes, English. Yes, you rough today, man. I think that Sam Smith is so, like, I heard the song and then, um, gimme, gimme. Love the song, listening to it, um, playing it for Stevie. All the kids are in the car singing it. And then one day, um, Stevie asked for it and my Spotify was down. So I looked for it on YouTube and I'm playing it. And when I saw the video, I was like, wow. The video was, it was a lot. I've never it, seen it. It was video. a lot. And now that you tell me that, like, I don't want to see the video because sometimes I enjoy the music and then the video can really turn me off and i really love sam smith's music and i'm sorry that mm -hmm. his, his some like i, I don't know where, where like where he's going that outfit that he wore the other day it looked like the missy misdemeanor elliot blow up garbage bag from well, 
if you're coming out, better be all the way out. I mean, I just don't find that necessary to. Mm. I get. I don't even think that's his personal style. Oh no, drink some water before they choke. Mm hmm. Oh, that's. Oh no, it's us. Drink mm -hmm. some water. Water means Lady B before they, which is Sam Smith, choke. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, cool. Alright. Mm hmm. They are just doing too much. They. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright, cool. Mm hmm. I'll translate for you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about. Unholy, Unholy by Sam Smith? Mm. Unholy was one of those songs that came out and the vocals, the music and everything behind it was just so captivating that I never really stopped to listen to the actual lyrics of the song. You know, it's kind of like when Gregory Isaacs came out with Night Nurse and nobody actually listened to the song, the lyrics, they just were like vibing with it. Um, like listen to understand the lyrics. Exactly. And then now they're like, do you realize what you guys wrote about Night Nurse? Like, is that no. cocaine? Yeah. So, I mean, some of the times, and I, I'm gonna, 99% of the time for me with music, I've never listened to lyrics to like totally understand them or feel the vibe. Or, like Toni Braxton, um, when she sings that song, Unbreak You Weren't you, you mm. Man Enough For Me. Mm. Like, I've never, I've never listened to those lyrics until the other day when I was reading it, and I'm like, Mama, wicked. But you just like the <laughs> man enough for me. You know, so I don't, I, I mean, like, oh, I so just I like it, I heard it's satanic. You see, oh. there, I would never even pick that up, you know? Like, I'd never even pick because I was just enjoying the melodious, you know? So, the videos of songs I like sometimes makes me stop listening to it. Yeah. Which is, yeah. Yeah. I hear yeah. that. Yeah. So anyway, talking about things that are weird, um, bottles in the club. Okay. So Style OG just bought a $150,000 bottle of Ace of Spades champagne. Do you think that this is cool or cringe? First of so all, so cringe, so cringe. First of all, has anybody here, raise your hand if you've ever tasted Ace of Spades. Is it champagne? I would hope so. It's better be fucking gold. Raise your hand. Just put a little hand in the comment section if you've ever tasted Ace of Spades. I just want I to know because guess what? I have tasted a sip of Ace of Spades and it tastes awful. It's so horrible. Like I don't know why anybody would even spend thirty dollars on a bottle of that, much less a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know what you could do with that? G's and P's and like honestly, champagne is great and everything. It don't taste nice. No, it does not taste nice. It's not exactly. It's not even worth a hundred and fifty dollars. I don't know. Like clubs, I don't know. I would love to own a club in, in the foreign because you like buy a bottle for like thirty dollars and then you can sell it back for seven hundred dollars. You just put some sparklers on it and everyone's like, oh my gosh, he's rich. I know. It's no. so crazy. Mm -mm. And I hate it. Like I hate when I go to the foreign and Sean buys a bottle. I'm like, do you have to come over here with all of that? Just bring the bottle, no? Just bring the bottle. Yeah. I don't need any of that. I don't need anybody to know what I'm drinking. I don't need a placard saying any of the things. Just bring the bottle. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want any. I'm trying to enjoy myself, and I'm not enjoying myself when you're bringing that smoke fire around me. Then no one with real, real money would do some dumb shit like that. It's giving small D energy. It's compensating for other things he's lacking. Oh, Sophie. Okay, okay. Small. The sparklers. I can't deal with the sparklers. The, spark the smoke from the sparklers annoys me. Like, quickest way to get me away from somewhere is to have mm. sparklers on. Like, Jesus. The foreign. Mm. Yeah, cringe. Cringe. Definitely cringe. When are they going to stop doing that? Like, I want, like, a... You know, when you're going to come with something different. Like, at first it was cool. It was like, wow, okay, sparklers and the buckets of this and then the girls and the bottle service girls. And, you know, it's like, okay. Yeah, but when's the last time you've been to a club or wanted to go to a club? Oh, my gosh. So long ago. Exactly, because you grow out of it. There's just certain things There's that some you people grow that don't out. grow out of it, though. Look at Josh. He's still clubbing. This is true. We be clubbing. Watch it when the girls check something. But then I guess he still likes the bottles and the sparklers. I don't know, I kind of, the sparklers are cool. You could bring that on a water bottle for me. Yay, refresh yourself. <laughs> <laughs> People still go club. Yes. That's what I'm saying. 
know. I prefer a lounge type I of vibe. I prefer a party at home versus a club. Yeah, guys, we sound old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Josh? Josh is my friend, man. You see, see Josh. I'm going on a trip with my husband. We are taking our first trip together since we have had children. Are you serious? Yes. Sean and I haven't been anywhere together. I'll go away, he'll go away, we'll work, we'll do all kinds of things, but we've never been like, boop, 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 boop. So next week, he has a show in Vegas, so I'm going with him. And um, I'll probably end up at a club, because Josh lives in Vegas and he's always partying. We are drinking Lady Mixology. I have the Paradise Phone. And I'm to make it drop by a silk dress. Maybe. I have Guava Raspberry. It's very good. This, this one is made with gin. It is guava raspberry mango gin lemon juice and natural sweet oil. why do people buy bottles at all-inclusive parties like frenchman and sunrise so what i found the other day was um at these all-inclusive parties it's changed since covid so whereas before an all-inclusive party that you're paying like a 20 grand 30 grand for would include your top shelf liquor but now i find that the bar is very basic and your top shelf liquors, you have to buy the bottle, which I find absolutely ne ne ridiculous, sorry. So Hennessy won't be included, like your Moet, um, and some of the types, like uh, we call it Johnny Walker, are not included. So if you want top shelf liquor, you now have to buy a bottle, and then you bought your all-inclusive ticket at $20,000, which I think is absolute rubbish. I don't know, like I, I remember when we used to go to all-inclusive parties and it was like $5,000 for the ticket and then you would get like a lick of food and whatever mm -hmm. and Lorraine, Lorraine, Lorraine Fong, Lorraine Fong would you be stand up there and get food, I mean for days, food, yeah, for days, for and days. then you get your liquor, but then days that we used to drink white rum dog, I still drink in white rum dog, <laughs> yeah, but I don't like white rum with cranberry anymore, no, I like it with grapefruit mm -hmm. juice, mm -hmm. but I find it Chase a selection limited, yeah so i mean like and i just think that that's kind of like false advertising too when you're like oh twenty thousand dollars all inclusive and then you have to pay for your pay for top shelf liquor it's like they're making up for the money they didn't make during covid yeah it's ridiculous like i don't want to spend twenty thirty dollars on a ticket and i'm like oh i want a little hennessy oh you have to go to that bar you have to have a, a person come over with a sparkler and a hennessy bottle it's like i don't want to stand up here at a table and it's, I'm, I'm actually liking the table vibe though. Like you go to a party, like you want a table. And I can put down all of my karaoches because I like a spot. I like a spot. I like to go to a party and I have a spot. I don't like this whole roam round all over the place when Tracy and Drew are like, let's go over here and see who's here. It's like, I don't need to see who's here. I need to see who's here for. I'll see who's here on Instagram. Somebody says the plates are so small at parties. No, Danny! <laughs> Danny! Danny's hungry, man. She Danny, wants her big plates. Danny, come yeah, it's not. true. They've gone from like a seven inch to a five inch. Now there's like a four inch plate. Yeah. Um, see, Her Majesty, she bought you the. Um, Her Majesty, thank you so much oh, yes, for I, our oh, my little. Oh, I, I packed it away. I got a Jubia's place from the um, palette. I packed it away. Thank you As so in, much. I'm going to try mine out and wear mine next week. Oh, yeah, that's a show. good idea. Yes. That's a good idea. Thank the last you. show before I go on a trip with my husband. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, she spoiled my shibai. We are going to place. buy a bottle. Not $150,000. I'll probably buy a bottle of water. Sure. Hey, babe, drink some me. You want water? If I tell you the bottle. I bring it with the sparklers. I know the bottle that Sean is planning on buying. And it's of Astroglide. He's making sure he has a good time on this vacay. Call me a dry bitch. <laughs> 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 okay. So, um, there was a, uh, a, a sleep just put up a post and, um, it was a young lady and her tweet said, do children deserve apologies and explanations from their parents? So I'm going to say this. Yes, they do within reason because for instance, the other day, Stevie is so sweet. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. She's always happy. She's always excited. Stevie is just such a sweet, sweet, sweet child. I came home from work the other day and I had a long day at work and I was dealing with Stevie and it was a lot for me. And she was like, mommy, mommy, mommy. And then I, and then I wanted to turn on. I'm like, just shut up. Don't but you dare. I didn't. I didn't. I turned on. I took a deep breath and I was like, 
Yes, baby. But anyway, not everybody is going to be able to take a deep breath and turn around and say, yes, baby. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes a, a mother in their frustration might be like, just shut up and go like that. So I believe at that time that you need to apologize to your child and be like, hey, Chili, I'm so sorry that that happened. You know, mommy's a bit frustrated. Could you give mommy a five minutes? Or mm -hmm. So in that sense, like, yes, you deserve an apology. And yes, children need explanations too. Because like, why can't Because sometimes we are wrong and they need um, to understand why. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's been something that with Levi, um, that's why he speaks so well. Um, you know, and I, I do the same with Remy as well. But Levi, he spoke early. He spoke full sentences and very complete thoughts um, very early. Because I find that I was always talking to him. I was like, Levi, mom is very tired right now. I'm just going to be quiet. Levi, you know... Mommy just needs a five minutes or, you know, Levi, mommy's upset, something upset me today. So, you know, I'm just really not in the mood to play that game with you right now. Or, Levi, let me explain why that what you did was wrong and why mommy's upset with you. And sometimes I find that sometimes when you, you tell your child that you're so disappointed or give this, they're even more upset than if you spank them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they're you human, mean. you know, they yeah. understand. Yeah. You know, and even when Levi wasn't really fully understanding or Remy fully doesn't understand I still talk it out with her and I still talk to be like guys Sexy J, this what when I have do, the blah, 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 blah. Sexy J says when I have the energy I might not have it right now but I when I'll come back when I do exactly yeah that's a good exactly. one exactly yeah. you may not have the energy right now because as a mom sometimes you can't give a hundred percent all the time you know sometimes it's, it's hard sometimes you need to you can't pour from an empty cup sometimes that's a yeah. long day it's such Sorry, a and they thankless want, like, job. It's yeah. such a thankless job, you know. Well, I went to Havali to pick up the things a while ago, and, you know, the, the, um, the young lady there, her name is Mina, and she and I were talking, and I was just like, she's like, you know, how is motherhood? Mm. I remember you saying that you never wanted to like that comment. get married or have kids, and I was like, I'm tired. Like, I'm tired. It's just... Yeah. It's a type of tired that you will never, ever be untired from, you know? Yes, I believe they do, because... They also deserve respect and parents lose their shot and um their shot and make mistakes too and lose their shit and make mistakes too. It teaches them by example to be accountable. Yeah. I, I like guess, that. Yeah, that one was really good. Yeah, I like that one. We underestimate children and how much they comprehend. I that just said is this. So yeah. true. That is so, yeah. so, so true. All the time. I, I you know, I, I really and truly like when Levi says, Why can't I have this? I say, Because you just can't. Sometimes it's good to be like, because Levi, that can actually hurt you or blah, blah, blah. You know, I just mm -hmm. kind of explain it out. And I know I'm bringing up a lot of like the negatives of why you can't, why mommy's tired. But there's also explaining and accountability and talks of positivity, you know. Mm -hmm. So I do think they're little humans and I do think that they deserve for us to talk to them and explain. And, you know, um, and I think it will kind of break the cycle of when we were children and mommy and daddy were like, because you just can't, mm -hmm. you know. And then it was like kind of this rigid you know, like, I, I feel like we grew up in a much more harsher, you know what I mean? Like, our parents just kind of pick me up, pick me, you know? Whereas now, I think we know a lot more about these little humans and to kind of treat them as how we wish we were treated with more accountability and understandability. I agree, I agree. But, you know, also not to take that too far to the other end and be too, too easy on them, you know? Like... They still need punishments and stuff. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And I say don't punish them. Punish them little motherfuckers. Like. Um, communicate with children is... Communication with um, children is key. I find that communication in any relationship that you want to thrive is key. So anyway, on the Instagram the other day, there came... Go, and, and within the same topic, mm -hmm. um, there came out a picture of all of the school fees for prep schools in Jamaica and how much they cost. And somebody was like, oh, this is birth control if I ever saw it, <laughs> right? And, um, and I'm just wondering, how y'all, how, how's everybody out there doing? How are we all surviving? How are we all surviving? How are we all surviving with these salaries well, and I just these bills that we have to pay? We've seen a list of the school fees, yeah. right? And, you know, I'm just wondering, why are teachers being paid so shitty? Dude. And school fees are so, like, expensive. 
I just don't understand. I don't get it. It's not adding up. And then even in like primary schools, you can see how important it is, how education is important. You can see it day to day life. All of our ministers can see they all have their children, either it's AISK or Hillel or whatever, brand name school, brand name school, brand name school. Why is it then that even the primary school teachers, why aren't they paid better? Because as far as I'm concerned, that is like supposed to be one of our most prized possessions. Yeah. It's 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 ridiculous to me. Like I don't I I'm it's unfathomable. Well, primary schools are public schools and prep schools are private schools. Right. But right. even so, so primary schools, you, you there's no school fees for primary schools because the government um yeah. took away school fees. So then it would be the government's job to ensure then that our teachers are being paid better, Correct. that our primary school teachers are being paid mm -hmm. better, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which takes some of the money off our, off our customs and pay the teachers better, no man. Don't. I don't understand. I don't either because I would not be dealing with some of those snots in those children if I was a teacher. For the it's price hard. Of being paid. You're being paid crap money and then you have to deal with people's picnic and they're just so rude and so entitled, some of them. And then you have to deal with some of these things that you're seeing in the videos with children beating up each other in class. It's crazy. Or beating up the teacher. And it's not only the it's not only the children that you have to deal with as a teacher. It's the parents. Because sometimes the parents don't want to take accountability for what they are or are not doing at home. Like you can only do so much in school with a child. Like you need follow-up at home. Yes, Sidoni. Um, teachers are so undervalued. They are so important in a child's life. Teachers are not valued. We're leaving. Please don't go. Please don't go. We saw a real drain of teachers um, last term. We saw a lot of teachers leave all across the board from primary schools to the pub, um, private schools. It was, it's, boy, mm -hmm. I, don't, I can't say I blame you though. It was rough. It was rough. I can't say I blame but you have to pay fees at primary school. When you say fees, though, is it like a school fee like or fee like a it? base level? Maybe a registration fee, maybe like a... But I, 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 whatever fee, or, that would make it even... The, you need to be paid better as a teacher in primary school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially the teachers that teach um, special needs children. Especially them, because you need more resources to help you in being able to teach children who need a little bit more mm -hmm. than you know, a child in a regular classroom or a child who's learning at the same um, basic level. Oh. Yeah. Very, don't even start me on the teacher's thing. I get yeah, I don't it. understand how education is not the number one mm -hmm. resource of money that is, um, I don't know, I don't know how to move on to Number one, like, so like, the, the country makes money and then the first thing is yeah, 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 teaching. Yeah. yeah. Because honestly if they were to, education. to do to education, if they were to do that, they'd be able to see the benefits of that so immediate. Like there'd mm -hmm. be no brain drain. Mm -hmm. There would be people who are so well educated that then get go into good jobs. It would raise everything within and sometimes you know we sit here and we think of these things and we're like, how come this one hasn't thought of that or that one hasn't thought of that or Andrew hasn't thought of that? And it's it's anyway. oh, I really don't know. But let me tell you something this carriage use is giving i'm going to save my ot apple juice for when i'm hungover tomorrow from my lady b paradise found <laughs> well i'm going to save my lady b paradise found for tonight oh when i find my own paradise oh wow Scott's she's finding <laughs> she's um education isn't a priority to the government only families see um, the benefits that's why they push and make sacrifices that's why it, um and i guess as, Tash is real as a as a, as a parent too you have to push and make sacrifices for your kids because at the end of the day you're going to find a way to get your child into the school that you want to get you're going to find a way for your um your, your school fees you're going to find a way to put the food on the table so big up to all of the parents out there to all of the good parents who find a way for their kids whether it be education whether it be dinner on the table whether it be you know to be able to have that communication you know big up to all of the, the parents who you know push for betterment for their children so um you know i was going totally off topic now uh -huh. we're doing we're going somewhere else totally and i was reading a book the other day and um Yes, it was Sophia, I agree with you. It was this book and pretty much the person in the book 
was like, oh, you know, it, it was her, it was her autobiography, and it was like, oh, you know, everything was, everything was done to her, to her, to her, everything was done to her, and then, um, you know, the book went on and whatever, well, and the pool she is here again. Hey, <laughs> hey, the pool guy. <laughs> Anyway, the point of my the point of my thing is that she did something so mean and horrible in the book, and and she couldn't believe that she was now the villain in her own story, and I was like, oh, so taken aback by that because it's true. Sometimes you live your life and you think that everything that you're doing is like, oh, I'm doing the, I'm doing this the right way. I'm doing this right. I'm doing this right. Like. You know, everybody's doing things to me, to me, to me, and then you do something that's so terribly wrong to somebody, and then you become the villain in your own story, where it's your story. You're always mm. supposed to be the one that's, that's like, looking the best. And then all of a sudden, you're the one that's the villain, you know? Yeah. Mom is saying, what you spend in education, you won't have to spend in prisons, which is true, but Mommy was having a very difficult time trying to write that. She must be busy making Daddy's birthday dinner for later. Mommy, please log off. We don't want any soupy rice. We don't want any bun up chicken or whatever it is you're cooking, right? So please log off and make the dinner properly, please, and thank you. Exactly, Tracy. Don't want no soupy rice, mommy. Sure. All right, everybody, I think we brought up some great topics today. We sure did. We sure did? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling a little buzzed, I'm not going to lie. So big up to Lady B. Um, bread and water for you. Mommy! <laughs> big up to Lady B Mixology with her Paradise Found Blend this afternoon. Wait, I have a little cilantro stuck in mine. Mm. And then we want to big up to Camilla's Kitchen, which I can't even show you this now. It's so big out. So we got a vegan lunch today. We got some... Um, cauliflower and it had a nice little crusting of some goodness we can't we can't use the words that you would use for like food that's not vegan but it was crusted in some uh what is it love and kindness yes chickpea yes, salad yes. um and then we had a um red cabbage slaw we had quinoa and we had some lettuce a bed of lettuce all atop a bed of lettuce and you can head up to um skyline levels and this week, Friday, they'll be having live music from Yaxta um, alongside Yark, Yardcore and Joby J. So, um, gates open at 7 p.m. So, head on up, have a little dinner beforehand, enjoy the beautiful view. You can even go up and enjoy the, what do you call it? The sun sky, the sky of sunset. 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 And then when the sunset done and you eat your dinner, you have a little green juice and thing. The green juice, I highly recommend. This carrot juice was very good though. I, I, I think about that. You know why? That green juice saved me. You remember when I went over there and I was super hungover? That yeah. green juice saved my life. No, that green juice is good. But this carrot juice is good though. I love a good carrot um, juice. And so. again, only seven minutes um, from But Papine. the restaurant is open Mondays to Saturdays. So please go and enjoy yourself with some in dining with... Um, Camilla's Kitchen. Yeah, and you can get some live music on a Friday. This week, Friday is Yaksta, so you can check them out. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then, um, oh, hey, Lauren. And what else? Oh, I feel nice and full. And, of course, we are wearing beautiful designs from Havali. She's tagged down below where she just says, thanks, guys. <laughs> tagged, <laughs> tagged around the message. Um, so she has beautiful, I wanted to say garments. It's not garments. Beautiful fits. Yes. Um. You know, these ones that we have on here are 100% silk. I'm wearing a fuchsia stand up, slip dress. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Let everybody see what's going on with you. I'm wearing a fuchsia slip dress. Oh, that batty looks so big in it, eh? It has a little split. And I just got these from Amazon, so I put them on. <laughs> and then Tracy has on some loungewear here. She has on a three-piece set. She has on a... um wireless but lined um, bralette and it has some detailing around the bust with the matching shorts and the um pajama top and look at this cute little detail right here i didn't yeah. even realize that little lion, little yeah tiger oh, oh okay yeah. i think that's their logo yes it is it is their logo all right guys so that is it we're gonna drop everything in the description box below make sure you check us out over on youtube where we will have the information there too you can also rewind and cuss us off i'm sure who was it that was cussing us off about um chloe 
Ryan, Ray, who is oh, it? Um, Ray. Hate us. Our, our whiskey. Our, our whiskey. We're yeah, haters. I didn't like her style. It's okay, that's okay, that's okay. And we're Uno. I know. Uno, Uno, Uno. Oh, and when you log on to Havali, they do worldwide shipping. So you can, oh. yeah. So you can log on and she can ship to you. So somebody's saying they need that dress for their... Make um, sure you get your cotton kaftan because the summer is coming up. You need this dress. I'm sure she has multiple... Actually, those are green ones. So there's multiple colors. But this is like so sexy for a wedding if you want to go and like, you know... Like yeah, I'm, she had a lot of colors. Like she had like this new, this jersey dress there designed too that I was gonna pick out for you to wear. Yeah, it was so 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 nice. So you guys she has can some check tweed them out. pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some really nice, nice natural stuff. materials. And mm -hmm. if you are in Kingston or you are in Jamaica and you want to check them out, they are on Devon House Road, which is opposite the the Coconut Board. Um, and Tracy was saying she went there today. She said it was a whole vibe. It was it like is. stepping. I've only been and to the older locations. And they have oils location. there. They mm -hmm. have nice little Indian like. Um, like little purses and beaded. Not they weren't beaded. They were just cotton. Nice little cotton purses yeah. and makeup pouches and glasses cases. Things. Things. Like nice little things. Nice yeah. little things. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you drop a comment down below and let us know what you liked, what you don't like, and what we can do, what we can do, and uh, just drop a comment. Keep us on the on on the for you page. Yeah. <laughs> Get us on the for you page. Whatever, guys. Please have a wonderful week, and we will see you next week for another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.